My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Good morning, friends at North Odesto Church of God and beyond. I want to talk with you this morning about the joy of the coming of Christ. Those words, which I quoted, you'll probably remember, are the words of Mary. After it's been told to her that she's going to bear a son, that's what she says. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. How can you and I have the joy of the coming of Christ? Well, I want to start by thinking about Luke chapter 1, verses 1 through 4, and the topic of reliability. Now, we realize that reliability is a huge topic of monumental importance in our world. If you've been following the news in the last couple of weeks, you'll know that there has been some problems with a Bitcoin company called FTX. And people had invested thousands and even millions of dollars in FTX, but it has all crumbled to nothing. In fact, I heard last week the letter from a man who lost over $2 million because he thought FTX was reliable, but it wasn't. Your future, your money, your life, even your eternity can depend upon finding the thing that is truly reliable. And so that's where the Gospel of Luke starts. It starts with these words, Inasmuch as many have undertaken to give an account of the things which have been accomplished, or some versions say fulfilled among us, it seemed good to me also, most excellent Theophilus. That's Luke's introduction to probably a nobleman named Theophilus, and he's saying that there are many who are talking about the Christian faith. You could sort of think about it like this. There's a lot of rumors that fly around about Jesus. People have said that Jesus was a cynic philosopher, kind of in the tradition of Diogenes. Others have said that he was a magician. Others have said that he was the son of a Roman soldier. A lot of rumors have flown around about Jesus, and a lot of rumors have flown around about the Bible, with many people chopping it to bits and saying that uh, the Bible is not reliable. So at the heart of it is three big questions. Is the Bible reliable? Is what the Bible teaches about Christ reliable? And this is what the Bible teaches about the birth of Christ reliable. And so in the introduction, Luke says to Theopolis, he has followed out all of the things which have been said, handed down, it says, by eyewitnesses and servants of the word. Then he says this in verse 4, so you might know for certain, or some versions say you might know the exact truth of what has been accomplished and what is being written. Luke is not writing about an unreliable Christ. He's writing, he's writing so you can know with certainty. And that's a word that's used a couple of times in the book of Acts where there's some things going on in Jerusalem and the commander of the Roman forces there is trying to figure out what's going on. So he's asking people and asking people, he wants to know for certain. Can you know for certain about what the Bible says is true? Can you know for certain what the Bible says about Jesus is true? And can you know for certain what the Bible says about the birth of Christ is true? Luke says he's writing so you might know for certain. How? How can we know for certain? Well, there's at least four ways, I think, if you think about it. One is this that the Bible has more manuscripts than any other source in ancient history. This has been documented by scholars like F.F. F. Bruce and Paul Barnett in their books on the reliability of the New Testament. There's way more manuscript evidence for, for the New Testament than there is for, say, Tacitus or Josephus. Secondly, the manuscript evidence is closer to the events. So you have manuscripts going back within just decades of when the events have been accomplished. So more manuscripts, earlier manuscripts. Then a third thing, that when you read through the Bible, you'll see things that match things we know from other sources. Again, Paul Barnett has done great work on this, on his work, the reliability of the New Testament. 
He's shown that what, what officials are called, what locations are named, absolutely matches what we know from archaeology and other sources. And then there's a fourth thing, that the Bible gives us independent corroboration that in different places, this will agree with this independently. It's sort of like this witness in a law court agreeing with this witness, and they haven't talked, but they saw and announced the same thing. So we know that the, the message of the Bible is reliable. We know that what it says about Jesus is reliable. We know that what it says about the birth of Christ is reliable by the number of manuscripts, by how early the manuscripts are by how the manuscripts correlate with other external sources about historical, geographical facts. And there's independent corroboration. When Luke writes that you might know for certain, that you might know the exact truth, he's letting us know that we're not making our investment in something that's going to crumble. We're giving our whole lives to something that we know is reliable because it's been investigated and traced out from the beginning. You know, there's going to be some monumental claims in the birth story of Jesus. Mary will be told, for example, by Gabriel, that Jesus' kingdom will have no end. That's a monumental claim that rulers will come and go, but this ruler his kingdom will have no end. So it's important to know that not only are we told things, we're told things you can bank your life upon. They're absolutely reliable. This is your pastor, Tim Dwyer. I hope you're doing well. And I hope like Mary, you can say as we ponder through these first chapters of the birth story of the gospel of Luke, that my spirit rejoices in God, my savior. Hopefully you'll find these things a great supplement to the things Pastor Huckabee is talking about in his Sunday morning sermons as he's talking about the Gospel of Matthew. And hopefully you'll see that there's a connection between certainty in the reliability of what the Bible says, in the reliability of what it says about Christ, and in the reliability of what it says about Christ's birth, and the joy of the coming of Christ. God bless you. Serve the Lord. Be faithful. Keep your prayers going, invite people to church, and witness Christ when you can. Take care.